everybody welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel hashtag movie bay i am movie bay and in this video i'm going to be doing a review over jocelyn's cabaret season five everything is bigger in texas baby but before we get to it to it though i would like you to drop down and hit that subscribe button thank you because here on Movie Bay, I do reviews, reactions, and commentary to movies and television. And if that is the type of content you like, you might as well stick around and hit that subscribe button. And if you find yourself enjoying my commentary along the way, don't be afraid to give me a thumbs up and or drop a comment down below. Now, if y'all couldn't tell by the accent, <laughs> if y'all couldn't tell by the accent, baby, everything is bigger in Texas. Love that Jocelyn came to. She came to Dallas, Houston. San Antonio, and then they went to Mexico. And as y'all can tell by the trailer, the girls really turned up this season. This episode was a really good episode. I hope that they keep on the upward trajectory. But before I jump all ahead of myself, we gotta get into the theme music. It's getting fuego. It's getting fuego. It's getting fuego. Damale. <laughs> I don't know what she's saying. But it's something like, I want you or you want me or it's getting hot in here so take off all your clothes. Something like that. But regardless of, Jocelyn got herself another little catchy hit to start every episode off with. <laughs> I'm going to watch it for the first couple of times, but please believe it's going to be getting skipped. All right. So this is a review, by the way, just to let y'all know. Okay, I'm not going to be recapping scene by scene. We're going to talk about the major points of the episode, and I'm going to give my opinions on it, and you're free to leave your opinions in the comment section. So, Jocelyn talks about how this season they're going to have a $50,000 grand prize for the winner of the cabaret, and she's also going to take six girls on tour with her. Well, hmm, here lies the issue. 20 girls have been casted, so that means we are doing eliminations. Woo! Y'all know Movie Bay love herself a good competition show, okay? And I definitely love them scrippers. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into who is casted this season. First and foremost, she brought back the fan fave, Miss Wet Wet, never thirsty because I stay wet. Yes! Wet Wet Paris and London are back for season five, and the girls already hate it. They're already oozing green slime full of envy, okay? But this season, Wet Wet is not going to be trying out for the cabaret because we all know that she's just a vibe and a personality, not a dancer. So, Jocelyn has made Wet Wet the house mom of the season. If y'all don't know what a house mom is in the strip world culture, okay, that's the lady that be in the back <laughs> that makes sure you tip out. <laughs> no, but for real, she makes sure you tip out. And, of course, she makes sure that you got what you need, all right? Like the all your feminine hygiene products, so on and so forth. So, yes, Wet Wet is coming back as the house mom. And I personally don't care in what capacity that they brought her back as long as they brought her back. We don't mind returning cast members as long as they have good personality. Like, let's be honest. Honestly, Wet Wet to me is on the same level as Tiffany New York Pollard with the entertainment value. Like, she's the villain. You either love to hate her or you love to love her. And that's Miss Wet Wet. Speaking of love to hate her, these bitches just hate, hate, hate her. Okay? So, as the story goes... Wet Wet made a comment under Jocelyn's picture, okay? Danny and Andrea had something to say about Wet Wet's comment about Jocelyn. So in turn, Wet Wet started talking smack. In my personal opinion, the only person that has a reason to really want to fight Wet Wet is Andrea. Granted, Andrea started with Wet Wet, but Wet Wet made a comment about her parenting. And Wet Wet wants to make that clear. She said, I never talked about your child. I talked about you. <laughs> and as a person who does not have a child, I hate when people with kids be like, oh, you're talking about my kid? No, I'm not talking about your kid. I'm talking about you and your parenting skills. But y'all hear the word kid and y'all just snap. So speaking of the word kid, if what's her name? Is it Daisy? Who is this, y'all? If I hear her say something about being a mother again, I'm going to snap. 
you had a baby we get it oh yes i understand why andrea and her buck teeth want to fight wet wet but for the life of me i don't understand why danny and her round rupaul hairline lace front having ass want to fight wet wet at this point it's giving tag along it's giving i need a storyline because i'm a lame Shh, period that's what it's giving i personally don't like these two though <laughs> and it's not because i'm biased for wet wet it's because they whack like Andrea, you trying to act hard and we can tell it ain't in you. That's why people don't like you. That's not you, sis. Be yourself. And Danny, you just corny for what you did later on in this episode, bro. You just corny. And y'all, I fear I might be liking Raven this season. <gasps> it's giving low-key messy, but I, 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 I was feeling the vibe. I was feeling the vibe. Let's talk about some of these new girls. We got showgirl Neek um really really pretty that's my first impression next up we have envy erica she seems like the fun girl but i rewatched the trailer envy erica gonna be getting down okay envy erica gonna be getting down lexi lexi gold she seems like she likes a bala shakala 20 inch blaze on the impala then we have queen envy with an i not a y get it right period she's the bbw out of chi town and um I like her vibe. A lot of these girls have personality based off their intros alone. Um, <laughs> I could have sworn I heard one of the girls call her Jigsaw in the trailer. They had to be talking about her. Her name is Kay. She seems foreign. Jocelyn picked her out. Jocelyn. <laughs> okay. But she says she doesn't like to fight because, you know, that's not pretty behavior. But she'll get down if she needs to. She needs to fight her surgeon. That's who she needs to fight. <laughs> Let's talk about Jayla. Jayla is from Fort Worth, Texas, funky town. Um, Jayla gives Fort Worth. <laughs> Look, no shade. I'm from Dallas. And Fort Worth gives fun ghetto girl. So she seems like a fun ghetto girl. It's probably why she says she messy and she without it. Okay. Next up, we have Isis. Now, Isis is my preseason fave. She is so freaking beautiful to me. Y'all know I love me a skinny petite thing. Oh, beautiful. Um, I see good things in her future. I see her fighting Danny and Andrea. So right now, Isis is who I'm rocking with. And I hope, baby girl, I hope you don't let me down. Everybody else, I didn't really feel no ways about. Um, fetish, no comment. Chinks, pretty girl, but please stop talking. Um, this girl, Des, Dominican Barbie, really, really pretty, especially with her natural hair, her natural curly hair. Oceans, diversity higher, white girl. And then we got Spicy, what's her name? Moni? Um, I think her name is Monique or Monica or something like that. I like her. I like her so far. She said, I'm Christ-like, not mice-like. <laughs> Don't try it. <laughs> Let's get back to the drama, though. Jocelyn come out and wants to know why her returning castmates, uh, not castmates, cast members have been arguing while Wetway is trying to tell Jocelyn the tea. That is when Andrea Weeks decide that she going to try to spur off on Wetway. Now, you had the opportunity to fight in the van. You didn't. All you're doing is sitting and plying, and you want to start at the event? I'm pretty sure Jocelyn was going to let y'all fight. You did not have to fight at the event. Then, when they fighting, Danny Lane had to work hard to try to get Wet Wet Wig out. Wet Wet Wig was on that head. I ain't going to hold you. Wait, wait, we was holding on for dear life, baby girl. Because Danny Lil' Weak had to try to pull with all her might to get wet, wet, wig off. Then, guess what? One monkey don't stop no show. Just a saying. Just a saying, y'all. Just a saying. Anyhow, so I wet, wet, dancing with Raven. Hey, do your dance. La da da, huh? Uh. Danny's such a hater because wet, wet is unfazed that she tried to body slam her on the ground. These bitches is corny. Who invited them back? Jocelyn. I know y'all like people to kiss shots, but why those two? They are so corny. That's the end of the episode. Um, one thing I like about the new girls, when Erica Mena was going around interviewing them. Oh, yeah. Erica Mena, <laughs> Erica Mena was in this episode. When she was going around, you know, interviewing all the new girls, it seemed like everybody was in good spirits and good camaraderie. 
They wasn't like competing with one another. <laughs> they were saying, you know, season five is going to be the best season. And I just really, really like that. Um, it does seem like two next week. It seems like two of the new girls probably have like some pre-existing beef, maybe. And then Andrea, I don't like that marriage. I do not like her. Oh, I want Isis to give it to her so bad. And what it seemed like next week is Danny going to step up for Andrea and try to fight Isis too. Isis, don't let me down, almighty Isis. <laughs> I just really don't like those two girls. Like, they were whack on their original season, and they still whack this season. Anyways, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Stick around. I am going to be reviewing Justin's Cabaret because it is the superior show oh, on Zeus Network. Oh, I said it. We actually have new cast members. We actually have a premise. We actually have prize money. They're actually getting to the bag. <laughs> we actually have personalities. <laughs> Sorry, Nat Nat. I love you, Nat Nat. I love you as an individual, Nat Nat. But your show baddies is going down the toilet. Jocelyn's Cabaret? Yeah. Anyways, like I stated, like, comment, subscribe. I think I've said all I wanted to say. Leave your comments down in the comment section below. These girls are going to be squabbing. I'm excited for this season. Okay, let me get off. Bye.